It's important to understand how Tropolalaps reproduce and how this is different to Varroa, as understanding their life cycle and behaviour is important to understanding how to effectively control and treat Tropolalaps. Both mites reproduce within honeybee brood. With Varroa, a foundress female mite enters a cell on day five and hides in the brood food beneath the larvae until the cell is sealed. She then lays an egg approximately every 36 hours. The first egg hatches out and is a male mite, and then any subsequent eggs that are laid will hatch to be female. These nymphs go through a series of moles. When mature, the male will mate with its sisters, and on average 1.6 viable female mites will be produced from a worker cell and 2.6 from a drone cell. Any nymphs that haven't completed molting will die, as does the male mite when the bee emerges. Trouble alaps reproduce more quickly than Varroa. A female will go into a cell just before the cell is sealed and tropal alaps can lay eggs every 24 hours. These eggs can hatch out to be either male or female and the nymphs take around five days to mature. Tropal alaps mites can also reproduce by parthenogenesis which means that unmated female mites can produce reproductively viable male and female mites. Tropolalops can also mate outside of the cell, which also increases their rate of reproduction. Varroa prefer to reproduce in drone brood, as this takes longer to emerge. One method to control Varroa in colonies is to remove drone brood and the mites contained within. Tropolalaps, however, do not show a preference for drone or worker brood. They naturally infest giant Asian honeybees, and these bees spread their drone brood throughout a colony, making it difficult for Tropolalaps to find, and because of this, they have not evolved to preferably reproduce in drone brood. Unfortunately, this means that drone brood removal is not an effective control for Tropolalaps. Part of any mite's life cycle is to spread to new hosts and new colonies. Tropolalaps spend less time on adult bees than Varroa do, but they are still transmitted between colonies on adult bees. There is also evidence to suggest that Tropolalaps can survive and be spread on rats, bumblebees and carpenter bees, making their spread much more difficult to control than Varroa. You can also find out more information about Tropolalaps on our website and by subscribing to our videos.